Hi everybody, I hope this finds you doing well. And this short video is about the eye screening that everyone with diabetes goes through on a regular basis. I had mine recently, and it went a little bit like this. When I get to the hospital and I check in, and then they're going to be doing four tests on me. The first one is something very familiar to all of you watching, which is the, this is called a Snellen chart. The Snellen chart. And of course, that's really important for all of us because none of us wants to see our eyesight deteriorate. So that's a key moment. Next up, they put in some eye drops, which is quite a daunting prospect, believe you me. So the first drop goes in, pull the lid down, the nurse does this. Yeah, that's fine. Second one, that's quite vicious. Here it comes. Pull your eye drop down. Here it goes. Oh, and it stings. I get one of those moments. But very, very quickly it wears off. And they give you this tiny little piece of tissue and you wipe it away. And then they say, find your way back to reception. And you go, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Where am I? But you'll, you'll quickly recover. Third test is the scan, where you're sitting in a, a bio machine. I want to say in a machine because you've got to put your head in a vice and you have to look perfectly still and then the scanner comes down and you don't move. And it's done. Okay, and then the fourth one, similar machine where they're going to be taking some pictures. And so you're sitting in there, put your head in, keep it perfectly still and then they say, Look left, take the picture, take right, up, and down, and then it's done. And then you're free to go. Brilliant. Took me about 45 minutes last week, and all the results come through by email or by text message within about 24 hours. And then it's all done. Wonderful new developments I've made it. Hillingdon! Good for Hillingdon. Now, there was a very amusing moment when doing the Snellen chart. Now, for all of you who are familiar with this, you're sitting there in a long, thin room, and the chart is about 12 feet away or something like that, and you're sitting there, it's a bit like a dartboard, and you're ready to go. But Nurse comes in with her clipboard, and she goes through a list of questions. Okay, so she'll say, name give your name. Date of birth? Well, it's a long time ago, but I think it's first line of address, blah, 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 blah. And then the nurse says, but you're diabetic. I said, no. And the nurse says, you've been cured? And she's seen the funny side of this. I said, no, I have diabetes, but I'm not diabetic. Ah, oh, she says, so you are diabetic. I said, hey, hey, steady on there. I live with diabetes. Why do you call me diabetic? And she says, because it says so in your notes. And we have a good laugh, don't we? But you know, she said to me, Charlie, uh, and I want first name terms with all the healthcare professionals who look after me. She said, Charlie, you know, I will change. Now everybody, every interaction we have leaves a trace. So that's why yours and my language really matters. And I wish you all, particularly those living with diabetes, the very best of luck. See you next time.